అది లాంచింగ్ ఉంది ఈ ఫ్లైయర్ లాంచ్ తర్వాత ఒక రెండు పోస్టర్స్ లాంచ్ ఉంటుందండి డాష్ మీద ఉన్న కళాశాలలు స్కూల్స్ నుంచి ఉన్న వారు అట్లే ఉండండి ఇన్ఫ్యాక్ట్ ఐ షుడ్ సే వెన్ ఐ గాట్ ఇన్ టు సర్వీస్ ఇన్ వే బ్యాక్ ఇన్ నైన్టీ నైన్ యూనో ఐ వెన్ టు వెన్ ఫర్ ట్రైనింగ్ ఇన్ ఎన్పిఏ తర్వాత నేను యాజ్ అ ఏఎస్పీగా ఎస్పీగా డిఫరెంట్ ఈ ఎక్స్ట్రీమిస్ట్ ఏరియాస్లో పనిచేసి అండ్ అబౌట్ ఆఫ్టర్ టెన్ ఇయర్స్ వర్కింగ్ ఇన్ డిఫరెంట్ వెరీ హాస్టైల్ అండ్ వెరీ డిఫరెంట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఏరియాస్ వన్ పనిచేసి ఐ కేమ్ బ్యాక్ టు ద సిటీ యాజ్ డీసీపీ నేను డీసీపీ వెస్ట్ జోన్గా నేను పనిచేస్తున్నప్పుడు దే సర్టెన్ థింగ్స్ ద హ్యావ్ నోటిస్డ్ సిన్స్ ఐఎమ్ లోకల్ హియర్ అండ్ ఇక్కడే చదువుకున్నాను నేను so there certain things that i have noticed which were different from what i have perceived when i was a student that was in 2010 in fact i should say 2010 and 11 so when i came back to the city i found uh, the city's culture has changed the students were slightly behaving differently the entire concept of uh, entertainment and partying has changed సో ఇది ఏంటి ఎందుకు ఇట్లాగా తయారైంది వై ఈజ్ ఇట్ దట్ దేర్ ఆర్ సో మెనీ చేంజెస్ దట్ ఐ బీన్ ఏబుల్ టు ఆర్ సంథింగ్ విచ్ నెవర్ స్ట్రీక్ ఎ క్రాస్ ఈవెన్ ఇన్ ది స్లైటెస్ట్ ఇమాజినేషన్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ జనరేషన్ థ్యాంక్ హెవెన్స్ వీ ఆర్ గెటింగ్ ఓవర్ ఇట్ బట్ దెర్ ఇస్ సంథింగ్ అండర్ ఆర్ నోస్ ఎవ్రీ డే దేర్ ఆర్ several cases that are being registered under narcotic uh, drugs and psychotropic substances act 1985 in our commissionate in the city and in the state of telangana so we are not addicted our kids are not addicted our friends are not addicted so why do we bother isn't it so mind you there is drug abuse drug use in places where we do not expect amongst persons whom we cannot dare to even know and the use is spreading so fast that it is beyond our imagination no one is safe from this not you not me not our kids not the youngsters no one is safe from this so it does concern us it concerns us all because uh, it's uh, the drug abuse causes destruction of a generation of the future of the society of the nation right so uh, especially schools and colleges are the places where the youngsters uh, take learnings experiences they have Uh, choices influences so uh, we as a uh, educational institutions what we expect is that you have to set forth some solid standards and stick to them so our aim is drug free campus and uh, indifference cannot be an option we want you to help us create an outspoken intolerance for drug use and it's up to us to change our uh, attitudes of ourselves of our family members of the youngsters in our houses in our neighborhood of our colleagues and just simply dry the market and the best instrument that has been conceptualized by cp sir uh, is the anti drug abuse committee now i would like to stress upon the role of youngsters in these committees so there are many boys and girls of here so we don't need to see uh, you as some problem to be solved we consider you as problem solvers because you know all others in the committee are expected to guide you to help you 
and support you in your endeavors, what, whichever you take through these committees. We want to tap your energy, your uh, commitment, then your uh, you know, fresh perspectives, then the new knowledge which you have. And we want you to share, we want you to participate, influence, plan and organize activities and in fact take the driver's seat in these anti-drug abuse committees. So it's not always adults, it's not always we who keep saying youngsters not to do that, not to do this. So we want the youngsters to show us the elders that you can also tread the path, tread the right path with the choices you have, with the decisions you make and with your commitment. And you being here itself is uh, shows that you are leaders. So being leaders, we expect you to take along with you all your friends in this uh, noble path of, you know, proclaiming or, you know, say yes to life and no to drugs. And uh, the dream of uh, uh, Honorable CM Garu, as Krishnamasar Garu has told, it is to see drug-free Telangana and our beloved CP sir uh, wants to start this uh, with every educational institution in the Cyberbath Commissionate becoming drug-free campus through these anti-drug abuse committees. Uh, for the sake of our children, for the sake of our youngsters, I on behalf of Cyberbath Metropolitan Police implore each one of you to be unyielding in your commitment to drug-free campus. Let us ensure with the launch of the anti-drug abuse committees, uh, they function in their true spirit and achieve this objective of drug-free campus. Uh, I will get into the details of the composition of the anti-drug abuse committees and their roles and responsibilities as the function goes on ahead. But thank you. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, CP, sir, for giving me this opportunity. Pradhanamga, in Lomir Chuste, I will tell you my experience of uh, dealing with uh, these drugs. In fact, uh, I should say, when I got into service in way back in 99, uh, you know, I went to, went for training in NPA. Tarvata, you know, as an ASP, SP, different extremist areas in Panjeshi, and about after 10 years working in different, uh, very hostile and uh, very uh, uh, different uh, kind of uh, areas on Panjesi, I came back to the city as DCP. Then DCP West Zone, ga, nenu, uh, there are certain things that I have noticed since I am uh, a local here and Ikade Chadukuna. Nenu. So there's certain things that I have noticed which were different from what I have perceived when I was a student. That was in 2010, in fact, I should say 2010 and 11. So when I came back to the city, I found uh, the city's culture has changed. The students were slightly behaving differently. The entire concept of uh, entertainment and partying has changed. So, why is it that uh, there are so many changes that uh, I have been able to uh, go slightly deeper and then it is for the first time I have noticed that there is something called as narcotics and drugs which was prevalent in the city of Hyderabad. Initially, as a student named Chushin Napudu, it was very less but when as a DCP, I started working and uh, different types of crimes were root causes. There was a definite correlation between drugs and crime. So, I was studying deep and I was studying deep. I was studying deep about 10, 12, 11 years back. Uh, society lo penetrate in the Atlaga students, not just students, even employees also uh, are becoming addicted. Atla Bani Salaitanara ni, it is a startling uh, kind of revelation. So, chi, 
it is then that we have started uh, this uh, campaign against uh, drugs what was done was ipudu indake devi gar cheppinattu long back that when i was uh, dcp appudu chusanu that uh, uh, ఈ డ్రగ్స్ ని అసలు ఎట్లాగా కౌంటర్ చేయాలి ఎట్లాగా మనము ఎన్ఫోర్స్మెంట్ ద్వారా దీన్ని కర్బ్ చేయాలన్న అని చేసినప్పుడు దే వాజ్ నో ప్రెసిడెంట్ అంటే అర్లియర్ దే వాజ్ నో వన్ హు ఆర్ డన్ దిస్ యాంటీ డ్రగ్ ఎన్ఫోర్స్మెంట్ అసలు డ్రగ్స్ అంటే ఏంటి ఎట్లాగుంటాయి వాట్ ఆర్ ద డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ పీపుల్ ఎట్లా బానిసలు అవుతారు అన్నది మాకు కూడా అప్పుడు కొత్త we were barely able to distinguish uh, between say a talcum powder and uh, cocaine also ante asal maaka expertise kuda ledhu slow ga appudu oka team form chesi memo what we have done is uh, we try to know what the problem is koja experts knowledge teeskuni tarvata we had also taken the help of uh, uh, some addicts also and then we started slowly Uh, trying to grapple this issue ante asalu ee issue ni ma appudu supply side nunchi appudu first time manaki din meeda cases cheyadam jarigindi appudu chuste students you know employees loni mali even in film industry itlaaga anni areas loni idi baaga chuchu poyinattu kalpinchindi appudu so appudu cases chesanu now again uh, i am coming back as cp here after say 10 11 years ee 10 11 years lo what i have seen is adi ye sthayi aithe manaki ippudu manaki penetrate ayindo adi it has become very deep rooted now aa rojullo aithe oka 5 10 years back ekko students and the colleges lo nanta penetrate kaledu that was one of the biggest fear naaku kodu what if this drug abuse penetrates into the colleges and uh, sto- and uh, uh, schools and chefi so but now when i see the problem the problem scope is much bigger and is much deeper also so that is the reason why all of you are here because this is a problem we should all acknowledge okay this is a problem we cannot be indifferent to